you ready? Everybody stand back, give us some space. And one, two, three, let's go.
Oh uh, yeah, yeah. When she, okay. she's a Fanshawe uh, student, yeah, yeah. She smiles at something. It tastes better. Definitely, when, when, yeah. Totally when she smiles, the food tastes better. <laughs> but you can see she's happier cooking. It's amazing. Yeah, it's brilliant. You're wearing instructors? Uh, yes, we are. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. How much take for these two ladies to prepare for something at this caliber? At what stage in their Yeah, well, they're they're in their second year, and uh, so they've been they've been <coughs> practicing for about a month now, and multiple practice sessions, working with the ingredients and uh, researching the recipes. Yeah. So. Over here, so we can get them in the back. Sure, sure, definitely. So, like uh, in the second year, someone would normally get to this level of uh, expertise. Yep. Yep. Definitely. Yeah, they're ready to take on the challenge. They're ready to, to um, uh, you know, kind of demonstrate some of their own creativity and, and some of the skills that they learned in the first year. How do you decide when they're ready? Do they tell you, okay, I think I'm ready? It's a combination of things, right? It's, it's uh, work ethic and you can, trust me, you can tell pretty early on, right? There's that intangible piece, right? That, that, that something that people have and um, that, you, you see that in some people. Combine that with with a little bit of skill and some some coaching, and uh, you know it's a perfect ingredients. Yeah, perfect, you, uh, Patrick. Yeah. And how are you involved with the uh, college? I'm a teacher there. Right. Yeah. So okay, they're second year, yeah. first month. Now they're ready to get into something like this. How many weeks of training? To develop the competency. All right. How are we doing for time? To be confident to enter a competition like this. Sean? Uh, I think it's kind of evolved minutes. over you, both Sean. first year and so second year. Sean. Yeah. So it's, it's been it's been a long time reliable. coming. Yeah. And so after their one question, no when they're in their has second asked. year. Yes. Yeah. How many weeks or months does yeah, it take? I does it take this. to this be at this I've level? To compete. And I'm not cleaning up, so yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. It's it's <laughs> kind of hard. To, yeah, a couple months. I guess it's kind of hard to say. It depends on the student, but you know, definitely more geared to a second year student. Yeah, and for sure. Do they need to yeah, um, but like ten months or so, I'd really? say. Yeah, so yeah. You went off the street if you know how to cook, but you really want how to cook quick. Yeah. You'll need at least ten months of training to get to this level. Of Here's a surprise box. Make yeah, something. sure. Yeah. Is that the deal? I have no idea. Yeah, yeah. I'd say somewhere around there. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of committed time. Definitely. To reach this level of expertise. Yeah. Exactly. You should appreciate that. It's not just. Definitely. You know, I wake up one day and I'm ready for this. Exactly. And everybody's ready for something like this. No, no, that's right. Yeah, and the, the, this this competition is very unique. The fact that they're in an open kitchen, the arena concept, people are right in front of them. I love the the pressure. That they're under and uh, and how they, and how they deal with it. What do you think they're doing? So right now, uh, so we're working on a fritter. Yep, yep. So Marley's working on a fritter, and we're using uh, some Canadian spelt and uh, a variety of different. Now, now George is just tasting one of the secret ingredients. You know, and that's something we impress on our students from day one. Taste, right? And he's trying. He's going to figure out how that secret ingredient can be worked into his. It's carefully planned dish. What's he sautéing there? Looks like uh, mushrooms? Yeah, he's sautéing some mushrooms. And that's going to become part of a, a succotash, which is like a, a ragu.